Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Poco X3 Pro. Now recently we released a review for the best gaming ROM that is Siberia OS for the Poco X3 Pro and you guys requested for an install guide. So today that's what we exactly are doing. We have the Poco X3 Pro on complete stock 12.0.4 and we're going to install a TWRP recovery. We will be installing the latest Orange Fox recovery and then we will be installing the ROM along with G apps and we will show you what are the gaming settings and how to set them up. Now before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icons because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you like chatting with like-minded people, you can follow us on Telegram. We have more than a thousand people over there chatting with each other every day with similar devices. And we are present on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. So follow us there as well. And last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Alright, so every time you want to install a custom room, there are a few prerequisites that you need to take care of. You know, I'll go through the list one by one so that this guide will apply to someone who is like right now brand new, who is someone, you know, never flashed a custom ROM or something. So it will be for a newbie as well as an expert. So if you're an expert, you have the chapters mentioned in the description. So every time you install a custom ROM, there are certain things that you need to take care of. And that's what we are going to look at first. And then we will get into the installation process. Now, remember, the links are mentioned in the description for the files that you will need. You will of course need TWRP, you will need the ROM and you will need the firmware along with G apps. So these are the four files which you need and they are linked in the description. Now talking about the device, the first thing that you need to take care of is make sure that you have an unlocked bootloader and make sure that you've removed your Google account, your MI account, your lock screen security like the fingerprint scanner, the face unlock, any pattern or pin unlock that you have, you've removed all of those. You need to make sure you have more than 50% battery on your device, right? And of course, for obvious reasons, you need to have an unlocked bootloader, right? Now, in this case, I have the phone bone stock at the basic update of 12.0.4 as you can see it is suggesting me to update but we are not going to update because of course on 12.5 we are having issues so let's go ahead and install siberia os and get the best gaming performance out there on an android 11 rom now i've backed up all my data and everything is ready so the next thing that i need to do is i need to put the phone in fast boot mode and i need to connect it to a computer for doing this for installing twrp you will need platform tools for which the link is mentioned in the description as well right now once you've all the files downloaded go to the computer and connect the device to the computer and before that we need to press and hold volume down and power and keep it pressed till the time you enter the fast boot mode okay now as you can see the device is in fast boot mode I'm quickly going to grab my USB cable and connect the device to the computer all right now as you can look at the computer screen this is the recovery so from this what I've gone ahead and done I've gone ahead and extracted the recovery image file to the platform tools folder and the phone is connected in fast boot mode to the computer. Right, so what you need to do next is you need to go to the platform tools folder, okay? You can see this recovery.img extracted in the platform tools folder. Now in the address bar, go and type CMD and hit enter, right? Now we need to verify that the device is detected by the computers. For that, we'll type fast boot space devices. If you get anything like this with a serial number and fast boot, that means a device is detected. Now we need to flash the recovery. So for that, we will type fast boot space flash space recovery space re recovery dot img, right? Put in this command accurately. I'll put it in the description as well. Hit enter. It's sending the recovery. All right, so as you can see, the recovery has been successfully flashed. So what you need to do is you need to press and hold volume up and power till the time you see the POCO logo so that you can boot into TWRP. There you go. You have the POCO logo now. And it's booting into Orange Fox recovery. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we need to copy files to this particular device. Right. So once you've booted into Orange Fox recovery, what you need to do is you need to copy the three files. You need to copy the firmware, you need to copy the ROM, and you need to copy the G apps. Now, if you want to stay decrypted, you can follow the flashing procedure of decrypted after all the files are flashed. If you want root access, you need to go ahead and uh, you know flash Magisk after flashing all the files. Now, in this case, first we will flash these three 
three files make sure that the rom is booting and later to enable 90 fps we will go ahead and uh, you know flash merges so that we can use the game unlocker module to go ahead and get access to 90 fps gaming on bgmi right so let's go ahead and copy the file first all right now as you can see we've copied the g apps basic android 11 flame g apps and uh, we have the 12.0.4 firmware and the rom file itself so let's go to wipe let's go to dalvik metadata data and cache we won't be wiping internal storage of course because that's where our files are okay now go to the main menu go to install select the firmware add more zips select the rom add more zips and select flame g apps now remember we've queued three files so swipe to confirm flash now this flashing process will take about 45 seconds to a couple of minutes so please be patient while that happens and later i'll show you what next is to be done let's wait for the files to flash completely all right now as you can see everything has been flashed so just go through the log once again to ensure that there are no errors okay now go to the main screen go to wipe select format data and type in yes select the tick mark Okay, and then reboot system now essentially if you are not wanting 90 fps and you don't want root well right now at this point you are done right because what we're going to do next is we're going to ensure that the rom boots just fine and then we will set up the device real quick and then we will flash majest after which we will you know go ahead and install game unlocker which will ensure that we get 90 fps in any games all right so just like that we are on the home screen for siberia os and you should be good to go at this point right so let me show you the details real quick Siberia is 4.9 with this particular kernel as shown in the review is installed right now. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to download Majisk APK and we're going to flash Majisk and then we will flash the game unlocker file as well. All right. So now what we've done is we've installed BGMI to show you that anti FPS will work and uh, we've installed Majisk APK and the module as well. So once again, we will restart and we will go to recovery where we will install Majisk. And then once we are back into the system, we will install the module and then one reboot and we are good to go Siberia OS with 90 FPS gaming. So let's quickly go there and we are already there in Orange Fox recovery. So let's go ahead and install Majisk over here. So we'll go to download, select Majisk, swipe to confirm flash. All right, now, as you can see, Majisk has been flashed. So let's reboot and go to system. And we are about to unlock the power of 90 FPS gaming on this wonderful ROM on this wonderful device. Let's wait for the phone to boot up. All right, so we are in Siberia OS. So we are launching BGMI now to just make sure that we are getting 90 FPS or not. And after that, we will enable the game unlocker. All right, so we've booted into PUBG mobile or BGMI, whatever you want to call it if you go to settings over here and you go to graphics you go to smooth all you get is extreme right now what we're going to do we're going to unlock 90 fps now now to do that let's go to majisk over here settings okay we are opening majisk over here go to install from storage and you see this particular module flash this and reboot now, this time, once the phone has rebooted, you not only have Siberia OS fully functioning with G apps as you saw in the review, you also have root access and you also have 90 FPS unlocked in BGMI, which I'll show you in a bit. Now, if you wish to get safety net passing and stuff, there is a comprehensive guide on my channel. On this channel, you can go ahead and check how to get safety net to pass with root access by Majisk Hide and Majisk Props config and stuff like that. So the ROM is booting now and trust me, you will have a brilliant experience with this. You can install a Gcam of your choice. Now let's go to BGMI once again. All right, now let's go to settings over here and let's go to graphics smooth 90. As you can see, you have 90 FPS enabled. So let's go to settings over here and let's go to battery thermal profiles and go ahead and set this game to gaming right now after this you need to go to siberia settings go to the gaming mode go ahead and enable this okay and then select the performance level of your choice i keep it the highest possible right and you can add application battlegrounds mobile india show fps info let's go ahead and launch bgmi there you go as you can see 
although it's showing 120 fps but 90 fps for you guys is unlocked in siberia on the poco x3 pro the gaming experience is really great on this rom let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye